Go ahead and open Illustrator to start out with this tutorial. And by now you should have the Shape Tutorial 1 practice image downloaded and saved somewhere. Um, in Illustrator, uh, in order to open up that image, I'm going to go to File Open and then find where I have that image saved. Mine is on my desktop and I'm going to double click and it should show up on your screen. Um, a couple of things you should keep in mind. First of all, this black arrow is the selection tool and that's going to select entire shapes. This white arrow is the direct selection tool and that is going to select and allow you to edit individual anchor points and handles. Now just like Photoshop, Illustrator has layers and we're going to be working a little bit with layers. Um, so your layers panel is found on the right side over here. So it's this little double square uh, that's filled in. I'm going to click on that and you'll see right away that you have the layer one. If I click this eyeball on the left, it's going to hide my picture and I can bring it back. We're going to be working with this little blank box to the right of the eye. And I'm going to click there and that's going to lock my layer. The reason why I want this layer locked is so as I'm adding and drawing with my pen tool on top of these shapes, it's not going to select my picture or that's not going to get in the way at all. So that is important to lock your layer. We're going to add a new layer in the layers panel. So that's this little button by the trash can. And that way when we draw the shapes on top of uh, this outline that we have, they're not going to uh, be part of the image. So they're not going to be part of this original layer. Um, they'll be completely separate. The other thing you need to keep in mind with uh, Illustrator is that if I zoom in right now on this picture, you'll notice that it's really pixelated and blurry. That's because I brought a JPEG or a photo image into Illustrator. But when we begin working with the pen tool, um, everything that we create is going to be really clear if we infinitely zoom in on it. So if I create this line and zoom in, you'll notice that no matter how far in I zoom, it still is really clear. So you can see Again, that difference between the vector image that we're creating with anchor points and the pen tool in Illustrator versus the JPEG that we brought in uh, that was an image and that has that pixel, uh, pixel effect on it. So that's the raster based image that we work with in Photoshop and then Illustrator is the vector image. Now I'm going to begin filling in these shapes and again I'm on my new layer so I'm going to go to my pen tool. Um, a shortcut to keep in mind is if you click P on your keyboard, it will automatically bring up the, uh, the pen tool. Uh, starting out with the pen tool here, tracing this first shape, I'm going to hold down shift when I click on my second anchor point. That's going to make my line straight. So I'm just going to continue to click all the way around my shape here. Uh, make sure that you end your shape exactly where you started. So you're going to click on your starting anchor point in order to end the shape. In order to change the color of my shape that I just created, I need to click on my selection tool because right now I have my pen tool selected. So if I uh, was to try and fill my color in, I don't have a specific shape selected. So I need to click back on my selection tool, select my shape, and then down here are the colors. So right now my fill is white. So if I wanted to change that color, I would double click, choose a color for the fill, and then it will change. Um, and then this outline is called the stroke. So that's the outline around your shape. And if you double click on that, you can change that color as well and then hit OK. Um, if you need to make more of a thicker stroke or a thicker outline, if you come up to the top here where it says stroke, you can click on that and adjust the weight. So you can see how this weight of the stroke is getting a lot thicker. If you click on this little arrow here, this is going to switch what you have. So it will switch your fill and stroke. So now, uh, again, those colors are flipped. If I did not want a fill, if I did not want to see any color, I could click on my fill, my box here, and then go to this little uh, box with the red line through it, and that will get rid of the fill. Now I'm going to move on to my next shape. I'm going to go back to my pen tool and decide where I want to start. So I'll start at this corner here, and I'm going to click with my first anchor point, go to uh, the corner of my shape, and then continue around. Now I get to this curved line. So instead of clicking um, right away with my anchor point, I'm going to click down where I started and instead of letting go, I'm going to drag straight up so you can see this handle that's being created. And then in order to make that curve accurate and really fit with the line, I'm going to start to drag my handle slowly to the left and then I'm going to line up that shape and let go. Um, now you'll notice though that the circles underneath 
disappear and that's because I have a purple fill right now. So I need to get rid of that purple fill so I can still create those circles. So I'm going to click on my selection tool and then go to where my fill is and hit this little uh, red line here that will get rid of the fill. So now I can see my circles. And right now you can just use the ellipse tool to create your circles. So I'm going to go to where this rectangle tool is and down to ellipse tool. And then I'm going to uh, click and drag across those circles there. And I will fill those with color. So I'm going to double click on the fill and hit OK. And then you can go back and fill in your main shape. So I'm going to double click and select a color. And now I'm going to do uh, my last shape here. So I'm going to click on my pen tool and I'm going to decide where I want to start with the shape. And remember you want to always create shapes in as few clicks as possible. So I'm going to try to do this with just these three anchor points. So my first one here and then another anchor point at the very bottom. And I'm going to click and drag that handle out. I'm trying to line up my edge as perfectly as I can. And then I'm going to let go. And now you'll notice that if I went to try and complete my shape, it's creating this curved line. But I don't want that curved line. I want a point at the very bottom of my shape. So in order to get rid of that curved line, since it's attached to this handle at the bottom, I'm going to go back to my anchor point and click on that again. And that's going to give me a straight line coming back off of my shape. So then I'm going to click back where I started on my first anchor point. And instead of letting go, I'm going to click and drag to the right here and create this handle trying to line everything up at that correct angle. And then I'm going to let go, go back to my selection tool, and if you need to use your direct selection tool, you can click on specific anchor points and move those around in order to uh, adjust and edit your shape. So I can change the uh, angle of my line if I click on this point of my handle, I can change that. Go ahead and finish tracing the rest of the shapes and stop when you get to uh, the D or just save this uh, for last and we're going to uh, go through and do a little bit more of a detailed um, step on how to cut this middle shape out. Um, so starting out when you get to the letter D here you're going to use your pen tool again and start outlining everything. So I'm going to go ahead and outline the edge of my shape. Keep in mind that you want to use as few clicks as possible so instead of using a lot of little clicks next to each other where if you zoom in it's going to be kind of having that jagged edge you want to use more of that curved edge with as few clicks as possible. And by the way, if you want to go back and undo something in Illustrator, all you have to do is hold down Command and hit Z multiple times, and that will take you uh, back to your last step. So I'm going to try and create this curve holding down uh, my handle, pulling that up a little bit. Again, this uh, kind of dips down too low, so I'm going to click back on that anchor point and continue to go around and create my shape here. Now you'll notice again that it's tricky to see the rest of my outline, so I need to get rid of my fill. So I'm going to click um, on this red line and continue with my shape. And then I need to outline this middle part of my shape. I just used uh, three anchor points for that. And then go ahead and fill in your shapes. So I'm going to double click and choose a color here. And then I'm going to choose a separate color for the outline. And hitting OK. Now we need to cut out this middle shape. In order to do that, you need to hold down shift on your keyboard and select both of those uh, paths, both of those shapes. So I have both of these selected, so I can let go of shift now. And I'm going to go up to object, compound path, and then make. So when I click make, it's going to cut out that middle shape. Go ahead and fill in the rest of the shapes. When you are finished in Illustrator, this is different from Photoshop, how to save the JPEGs. But you're going to go up to file. And instead of save as, I'm going to go to export and export as. And this is going to give me the option to save my image as a JPEG. So I'm going to go to format, find JPEG, save it somewhere that I know, export it, and then I will um, be able to find it somewhere on my desktop. So you guys can go ahead and do that and then move on to the next, uh, the next activity and then turn in both of your images on Classroom.